It's called the Governor's Commission on Alcohol and Drug Abuse, Prevention, Treatment and Recovery. But until Friday, the commission chair says no governor had shown up to one of these meetings in almost two decades. I'm kind of shocked to hear that I'm the first governor to attend in 17 years. It is the governor's commission after all. Governor Chris Sununu told the commission when it comes to the opioid crisis, he wants to cut red tape and build the workforce. A recent News 9 investigation revealed a four to six month backlog in licensing for certified recovery support workers. We need to fix that immediately. We're having a meeting on it Monday, and both Monday and Tuesday of next week in terms of what the certifications are, what the requirements are, how we can break down certain barriers. Commission Chair Tim Rourke says while other governors have been involved, it's nice to get the state's chief executive in person. Governor Sununu came in from the very beginning saying that this was a priority for him and I think we've seen that play out both in his how he presented his budget and also his willingness to roll up his sleeves and be with us as a partner. The governor urged commission members to think outside the box, but many say the key issue remains increasing the number of treatment beds available to people seeking help. The part that's hard is building treatment, whether it's recovery housing, whether it's residential. Stephanie Savard of Families in Transition says treatment is the most difficult and expensive part of this equation and also the most necessary. So that we can meet the capacity that is significantly out there, right? There's a great need. And if we can keep growing our treatment and get through the barriers to do it quickly as possible, then, then that's going to help the state. In the short term, the governor is keeping a close eye on the state budget process to restore and perhaps increase anti-drug funding stripped out by House Republicans. I'm going to fight hard to make sure we can get a lot of those monies put back in. In Concord, Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.